We humans have several animal friends. For the nomads of Central Asia, the closest and most reliable animal friend was and remains a horse. This unusual friendship has been romanticized through history in many cultures. Remember Don Quixote's Rocinante or Alexander the Great's Bucephalus. I'm Arman and this is Ethnosport. The Great Steppe has gifted the world the magnificent equestrian culture. A wild horse was first domesticated on the territory of modern Kazakhstan several thousand years ago. Centuries have passed, people have learned to saddle horses. They've invented sports games and even taught horses to do passages, pirouettes and piaf. This type of dressage is the most challenging and mysterious kind of equestrian sport and belongs to the high school of riding. The moves follow one after another without any breaks. Only great competitive spirit and experience can lead to victory. Our TV host, Arman, will try to go for a dressage without any experience. I've got very lucky. I'm attending the Championship of Kazakhstan on equestrian sport. The competition is held in dressage. This is my first time watching such competition, so I can't wait to join the audience. Spectator impressions are important, Arman says. It is difficult to conceal anything from the spectator's eyes, witnessing and remembering everything even to the smallest details. What an unmatched spectacle! You can watch it for hours. But there is only one thing I do not understand. Why am I alone in the audience? Where is everyone else? After all, we are the descendants of the nomads, the equestrian culture. Surprisingly, I'm alone in the viewer's seats. There is a special soil on the racetrack brought here for the comfort of the horse. Dust does not fly out from under the hooves and rain does not affect much because the water gets absorbed instantly. Most importantly, the risk of injuries is reduced to a minimum. This is the perfect place for dressage. Just have a look for yourself. The riders and the horses are in full harmony with each other. What is dressage? It is in this quadrangle that the rider and the horse show their training. It is considered to be a classic sport because both jumping and triathlon start from dressage. Today we'll have four rides. Rides are categorized according to their difficulty. In each of them the rider demonstrates more than 20 different elements. You see the judges. They sit in different places and each judge assesses individually. And then all this is summed up and an average percentage is calculated. Usually there are three top places. And our host is a judge himself. He is most fascinated by the horse of Yelena Kuken named Lexus. The owner bought it in the Netherlands at the age of six, so he already had this name. Now he's 12 years old. Lexus has already won some major high-level prizes. Yelena says that Lexus easily and naturally performs the most complex elements of dressage, like zigzagging and walking diagonally and sideways and drawing eight-shaped circles. Yelena herself has been doing the equestrian sport since she was 12 years old. When she became an adult, she did other jobs and trained herself in business. But then she realized she loved sport and horses more than anything else. I congratulate you, but I do not know much about it. It was very beautiful to watch for the first time. I would even say it was graceful and noble. How much time do you spend training with your horse daily? We train six days a week, for an hour and a half, but Lexus also has training bareback. He gets one day off on Sunday. Just like us. Yeah, just like us. What do you feel about your horses? What do they mean to you? Horses are like my lifestyle. This is my life. This is my calling in life, my passion. The horses are like a family. Can you tell us something about horses which most people do not know about? Something only you and people like you may know. Horses are all different. My horse is highly intelligent and disciplined. 
я, наверное, еще год и сложусь уже. With which I make a perfect pair, like in a couple dancing. They are like people. They understand everything. They feel everything. Lexus is very smart for his 12 years. I believe that his intellect is as developed as of an eight-year-old child. I talk to him. He understands me. I don't use a whip or gingerbread to motivate him. We communicate with words. He really understands me. Well, these are the iron ladies of our country, and these are the horses, even though they are imported, but nevertheless they are ours. They are Kazakh. I wish you good luck. Thank you very much. Goodbye. This is Valery Tsarnikov, who has been associated with horses for more than half a century. He spent almost all his life on the saddle. In the Soviet years, he was the head coach of the national team of Kazakhstan, and now he heads this equestrian sports complex, Almaty Horse and Polo Club. He knows exactly what horses are like, and at first glance, he can determine their character and ability. By nature, all the horses that are of the European descent are naturally calmer. They are more phlegmatic in temperament. Our racer horses of Akaltike breeds or Arabian descent are a lot more hot-tempered, livelier and more vibrant. And they are such tender souls. So when we don't get to train such horses, we really get upset. We've dedicated our lives to these horses and we will continue doing so. Оно и будет и дальше у нас так же. Hello, I'm Arman. Hello, my name is Sultan. I'm an instructor. Would you like to ride a horse or you are here just to have a walk? I want to learn the basics of riding. Can you help? Of course. Come. Choose a horse. So I can choose any of these horses? Yes, yes, you can have any horse. Let me introduce you to them. You must get to know them first, so that you are not a stranger to them. Aramis, Anjuna, Idahat, Altenai and Dali. We have Pegasus. All my life I dreamed of flying on Pegasus. I choose Pegasus. Great. Let's invite the groom. He will clean the horse first before the ride. Then you can get to know Pegasus better. The groom will show you how to settle him. My friends told me that I need to offer a horse sugar to make friends with him quicker. I have got some sugar cubes with me. Yeah, that's okay. Open your palm. Won't it bite the finger? For sure. No, no. Here and open up your palm. We made the first contact. That is good. A clean horse is a healthy horse. Therefore, the stable worker brought a set of brushes for Pegasus. Riders should never saddle a horse without brushing since any speck under the saddle can rub the animal's back. Well, in addition, cleaning serves as a good massage and strengthens the relationship between the rider and the horse. Can I try? Like this, right? So I brush against the direction of hair growth. Yes, that's right. Like that. I love washing my car myself. I don't go to car wash. I think that there is something so personal about it. But brushing a horse is much more enjoyable. After every move, I will probably give him a sugar cube so that he gets used to me. Pegasus, here. Good boy. Well done. So we clean the horse. What's next? And now the second step is polishing. So we polish. Oh, now I got the moves. Feels different already. What a beautiful horse. Such an amazing breed. What is his breed? Or his color? What is correct to say? Thoroughbred and Russian Don. Half-breed. The amazing friendship between a man and a horse has been ongoing for 6,000 years. Northern Kazakhstan is the very birthplace of this friendship. This is an indisputable fact proven by the scientists of the world. So the first step of the meeting is done. We met and cleaned the horse. The horse is ready. 
Now let's go choose a saddle. Come with me to choose a saddle. Let's go. We have the horse, but we still need a saddle. Here is our saddle room. Choose the saddle that you like. Make sure you will be comfortable on it. When we settle the horse, it will be clear for you if you are comfortable or not. Sultan, I know nothing of the saddles. I think that every horse needs its own saddle. So please choose a saddle for me. We will choose the saddle for you that is most comfortable during training. Here it is. This is the saddle. What an interesting saddle. It is so special. Look at the handle. Oh, I like it. I love leather saddles. This is not just a saddle, this is like a comfortable chair. <laughs> this is called potnik or sweat cloth. It is the first thing we lay on the horse's back. We want to make sure that the horse stays comfortable during the ride when it sweats. We wash it and put it back. Then there is another layer made of felt, and only then we put the saddle on. This way its back won't hurt. I'll tighten the girth. It took several thousand years for humanity to develop and improve this saddle and all these accessories. The very first riders mounted horses without stirrups. Stirrups were created much later. How is the length of these stirrups regulated? What does it depend on? It depends on the length of the rider's legs. Does the horse feel any discomfort from the saddle? Yes, it does. So it shouldn't be saddled for a long time. Yes, that's not advisable. Saddling a horse is a skill that the humankind has been learning for several thousand years. And we did it in just three to four minutes. Like this. In other words, is our horse ready for a ride now? And how about the bridle? We will put it on now. The bridle, just like the saddle and stirrups, is the invention of the nomads. It was meant to effectively and accurately control the horse. There are lots of bridle types. This is a sports bridle for show jumping. It is a stiffer one. Do you see that one? Like a chain. This one is used when a horse that is poorly trained needs taming. For trained horses, we use soft bridles with rubber coverage so that it does not rub the horse's skin. For those horses that you saw during dressage, we also use a mouthpiece besides a snaffle. The second is made of steel. Have you ever seen in the movies a big mouthpiece? Like this. It eases the turning, makes the maneuvering more convenient. For dressage, you also need a headband. The bridles are made up of these three components. And the headband is this second strap attached to the mouthpiece. Wow, these accessories are so sophisticated. Well, yes, just like the saddles. There are different types. These are for walking, these are German, these are for sports, there are cavalry saddles too. We keep these for times when we are invited to feature in films. We use these in sport and these in training. Is the horse ready? Are we ready to go for a walk? No, I'm sorry. We have prepared the horse, now you have to dress him properly too. Here are the leggings, so that are convenient for you, so that these stirrups do not rub your legs. You need a helmet too. Safety comes first. Where is the left leg? Is this the right leg? This is the left leg. On top of them you must wear the boots. The zipper is on the outside so that it does not rub your skin from the inside. I feel like a real rider. I also feel quite protected. Honestly, I'm a little worried. I have very little experience in riding. I've been on a horse without these stirrups only once in my life. Here, Rahman. You must mount the horse from the left side. It will be convenient for you. First, you put your left leg in the stirrups, hold on to the saddle. Hold the bridle with your hands. 
Right, keep tight. Make sure the bridle goes through your fingers. Okay, I'll let you go. Go ahead slowly. Well, I hope Pegasus justifies his name and my choice. Let's go. Go. So this is called a step. This is called stepping. What do I need to do to go trotting? You have a special whip for trotting. Hit with it slowly. <laughs> Friends, I may look like a dashing rider, but actually I'm suffering. Oh, riding my motorcycle is much easier than riding Pegasus. So I'll probably get off quicker than I thought. What can I say? Riding a horse requires special skills, so you can't be a great rider without training, like I'm trying to be. I need to gradually build up these skills, so here we go. Well, maybe I chose a wrong horse, I don't know. Well, he just wants to fly. I just sat on it and it sprinted off. I was not ready for that. Therefore, probably this episode of the program should end here. A long time ago, when horses were free and grazed in the nature, they had no problem finding food. They were part of the nature. But then the man tamed the horse and brought it to his household. And that's where the problem started. What should we feed the horses so that they remain healthy and happy? Every horse has an individual diet. In the early morning at 6 o'clock, the grooms feed them with hay. Then we feed them oats. Then they have their second breakfast. At lunch we do not feed them with hay. The lunch depends on the horses. We hobby class are fed oats. But our sporting and race horses get to eat special muesli, sports food with nutrients, just like human athletes. This food contains all sorts of amino acids. Wow, everything is so complicated. So the horses have a balanced and healthy diet. Well, let's feed Pegasus. It is time for him to eat. Now we are feeding him with rolled oats. It is specially prepared and is good for digestion. By the way, I already tried it too. So bon appétit. Do horses get ill, and how do you change their diet during illness? It depends. If our horses get sick, we remove the oats from their diets. We give them more water and hay. Oats give energy. But if a horse is sick, it does not need to spend the energy on digesting the oats, it needs to use internal energy to heal and recover. We do the same when horses get injured. We keep them in the stall and feed them hay and water. If I understand correctly, there is personalized diet for every horse. So for race horses there is one diet, and for amateur horses there is another. And for hobby horses there is a third type of diet. How important are the conditions where horses are kept? Does that affect their mood and well-being? Of course, the better the stall, the bigger and more spacious it is, the better. The horses need a good mat, good lighting. Of course, our horses feel good here, because we try to create the best conditions for them. Here we have automatic doors, so we lift them. Horses can put their heads out. They can see each other, communicate between themselves. What role do horses play in your life? For us, these horses are our close friends, or like brothers. I have been competing more than 20 years. I started when I was a kid. So the horses are like family to me. I spend my every day with them. I miss them when I'm away. You come here and there is a completely different aura, a completely different feeling. A few hours on the racetrack went by like a few minutes. My Pegasus has already taken its place in the stable. I do not know whether we became friends with him, however I think that he likes me and that is mutual. This was Ethno Sport. See you soon.